Hey, what's up guys? It is Card Shuffler 99 here, and today we're gonna be showing you guys a really cool card trick. So I hope you guys enjoy this one. If you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And anyway, guys, let's get straight into the card trick. So what I would do is I would ask my spectator over here, we have the King of Spades, and I'm gonna riffle down through the deck, and they're gonna place it in wherever they would like. So I start going, and let's say they place it in right there. Perfect. The spectator can do that. I'm not doing that part. So we check out exactly where they stopped us, so right here. And I'm going to ask the spectator to take a look at their card. Now, it doesn't matter if I personally see it. We don't need the king of spades anymore. So they selected the one and only ace of hearts. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the ace of hearts, and we're going to cut it somewhere into the middle of the deck, make sure it's lost. Now, what we're going to do from here is we're going to make a little magic happen. From the beginning of the trick, I actually had a prediction in the red deck. There are two black queens face up and there's one card in between them and if we spread out the cards here there's one card but there, there, there's no way that can be your card there's no way that can be a spectator card because that card is red there's no way so so i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do some magic here actually just watch if i just snap my fingers we can actually get your card to teleport in between the two queens now I would ask my spectator, hey, do you see your card here? And they go through the deck. See it. Ace of hearts, ace of hearts. Do you see your ace of hearts here? Um, no, no. I could give the deck to them. They could do it. And one more time, they go through. No. I don't see it. Well, that's because I performed some serious magic here. Because if we actually check it out here, if we spread out and show you the prediction one more time, there is actually one card in between the two queens, and it just happens to be your card, the ace of hearts. That is the trick, guys. Let's learn how to do this trick. Now, there is a setup for this trick. Let's learn how to do this. So what you're going to need, you're going to need two decks. They don't have to be full decks. And what you're going to need here is you're going to need one gimmick card. Now, what this gimmick is, it's not that complicated, but what you're going to do is you're going to take one card from either deck, okay? And usually if you're using a fresh deck, you still have the add cards or you can use the jokers. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a card. Um, so I, in this case, I chose the ace of hearts for this trick. You're going to take a card and then you're going to fold it in half. Well, well, the card that's behind the ace of hearts. So I this this red part here is actually, you guys can see, it's actually taped on. So what you can do is you can take an ad card, uh, fold it in half, and you're going to tape it on the back of um, the, the card that you want to be uh, forced, whatever card you want to force on the spectator. Um, that's what's going to happen. And you're also going to need to finish clean, at least, some double-sided tape. So this queen is just random. It just has some double-sided tape. And you're going to need two ace of hearts now you can use the ace of hearts from the red deck and the ace of hearts from the other deck because this one is half red half blue this one's all blue so what you're going to do is i'm going to show you how to start this trick i'm going to start this trick with this gimmick once again it's just half of any random card that you taped on the back of the ace of hearts so it could be any card you just got to cut it in half place it in the middle and just make sure it's lined up and you'll be good so that's the main gimmick and then you also need a little bit of a double-sided tape and you're going to place it on the back of any random card. So, you have your gimmick here. So, in this case, the Ace of Hearts. And you're going to play, take any two cards. I chose the Queens. You can do Kings, Aces, Jokers. Doesn't matter. And you're going to place it in between the two Queens, knowing which way the gimmick is facing. So, I want my... Because I spread this way, I want the red side on the right half because that's what I want to appear first. So, now, for righties, you might have to flip it the other way. But since I'm a lefty and I spread this way, I'm going to have the red on the right side so it matches the color of the deck. You might have to flip it if you are a righty, but I'm a lefty. So do that. What you can do is lift up the deck and place this somewhere in the middle. It doesn't matter. So whenever you spread the cards out, when you spread them out, you just want the red side to appear. That's all. So same with the rest of the deck. That's how you're going to start off this deck. Now the other deck, you're going to need two things. You're going to need... Um, double side tape with a random card. You're going to need Ace of Hearts. And then you're going to need another card to um, for help force the Ace of Hearts. So what you're going to do, 
place the double-sided tape card on top, just like that. So now I have the double-sided uh, tape card on top of the deck, right? And you need it to stick, so make sure it's sticky. Then you're gonna take the Ace of Hearts, and you're gonna place it somewhere into the middle, usually on the lower half here, and there's a reason why I'll explain in a bit. So you wanna be on the lower half, right around there should be good. And then you're just gonna have a break right above it. So Ace of Hearts on top, you're gonna hold a break right above it, double-sided uh, card on top of the deck. So that's how you're gonna start off the trick. So you take the card, this can be a joke, it can be Ace of Spades, it can be any card you want. You're gonna start off, you're gonna say I'm gonna riff up down through the deck, and you're going to have the spectator place it in. Now guys, um, if you don't have double-sided tape, uh, you, it's okay, um, but you're not gonna be able to finish clean, so double-sided tape is important, because when you spread through the cards, their card is going to show. So you just won't be able to show the blue deck, and you're gonna have to make the trick a lot shorter. You guys can improvise that on, on your own, but if you don't have double-sided tape, you're just not gonna be able to go through the deck uh, face up, so that's why you need double-sided tape, because you're gonna make the Ace of Hearts disappear from this deck and appear in that one. Anyways, from here, you have to make sure they place it above the break. You can do this yourself. Just say, ask spectators, hey, say, say stop whenever you want. Here, right? Good. Just make sure it's above this break because if it's below this break, the uh, force will not work. And let me show you why. So if I place it below the break, it, it's just not going to work because that doesn't work there. So what I'm going to do is, as long as it's placed above the break, doesn't matter where it is. So let's say it's right there. They place it in there. Or you can do it yourself. Just have them say stop. You're going to grab all the cards, all of these cards, and you're going to slip this card out. So what it looks like from the exposed view, the card actually isn't put at the break, right? But to do it, you're going to take out all the cards, and you're going to slide them out. So this card is being slid out. And it's going to seem like they placed it at this card right here, which will be the Ace of Hearts. So that's how you force the card. Uh, one more time here. All right, you have your break above the Ace of Hearts. They put it in. You're sliding all the cards off like that. That's going to help force the Ace of Hearts. Make sure you keep track of your double-sided tape. Take this card, get rid of it, show them the card they selected, all right? Ace of Hearts. You, what you're going to do from here is make sure you, no matter what happens, all you have to do is just keep track of the double-sided tape, take the Ace of Hearts, place it on top of the double-sided tape, and cut the deck. Bam. What you just did there, just make sure after that, you apply a little pressure to the center of the deck. After that, right, just push down with your thumb a little bit, place the deck off to the side, and then you're going to do a magic maneuver, whatever you guys want to do. Uh, it doesn't matter. And when you did that, the Ace of Hearts disappears because there's double-sided tape. So from here, you're going to spread out the cards. You're going to say, I have a prediction from the beginning of the trick, one card in, bet in between two queens, or whatever card you want to use. Now, you're going to be like, wait, that's not possible because it's not blue, right? You want it to be the blue card. That can't possibly be their card. So what you do is you recollect these cards, and what you're going to do is you're going to turn the cards 180 degrees. And what that will do is when the next time you spread it, the blue side will show. So the first time you spread it, right, the red, sh the red side shows, right? Make sure you don't spread the cards out like that because then there's a chance that the blue side will show. You don't want that to happen. So just make sure it's a tight spread, nice, nice tight spread, right? They see it's red, but like, that can't be your card. Flip it 180, and that will get the job done. From here, what you're going to do is you're going to ask them, do you see your card? And the reason why they will not see their card is because it's sticking to the back of whichever card had double-sided tape. This is two cards here. This is two cards. Watch. Bam, you can see it. Ace of Hearts is sticking right behind the Queen of Diamonds, right? So they're not going to see their card because it's sticking to the back of whatever card has double-sided tape on it. You spread through. Um, just make sure there's not another Ace of Hearts in the deck, that's all. They're not going to see anything because, well, their card's not in here because there's double-sided tape. They go through. They don't see their card. Or you're going to be like, oh, wait, I had your card teleport in between the two queens. You can spread it out. Um, and from here, you have two options. You can do what I did, um, which is I just took the three cards. I flipped them over and say your card is in between the two queens. Or another quick option if you guys want to do it is one second here another way you could do it is so yeah you're here and you just flip over the cards like that and show them it's the ace of hearts in between the two queens 
So that is the trick, guys. I hope you enjoyed. It's a pretty cool trick, pretty cool gimmick. This is Card Shuffler, 99. Peace out.